justice. Please give us justice. Please give us justice. Please give us justice. Please. Now, um, with so much going on, um, racial unrest and uh, uh, around the world, you know, it was really important for our family to come out and stand with the Sri Lankan people and and uh, um, show our support. And uh, and we are all we are all in this together. And uh, it was really important to us to be here. Last question. Vanako. I'm William Patterson from Canada. I'm walking in solidarity for the people who have been protesting for answers to their relatives' enforced disappearances. They have been sitting in public places for over 1,280 days demanding answers from the Sri Lankan government. This government has taken their relatives in custody, but has not informed them of their whereabouts, what charges they are facing, or even their conditions. The president of Sri Lanka is issuing death certificates for these people. This raises many questions. These include what happened to them? Where is the body? Why did this happen? Remember, these are not people who are lost in the jungles, but rather people who have been observed boarding army or police vehicles or entering police stations. They are under government care, but the government can't give any answers? I walk with these people to request the Canadian government to put pressure on the Sri Lankan government to hold Sri Lanka accountable to the human rights abuses they are perpetuating. I am walking to encourage the mothers, wives, daughters, and young sons to persevere. The government is trying to silence you, but you are being heard. As I walk, I ask all Canadian Tamils and any person who values human rights and dignity to join in supporting, freeing those who are in a state of enforced disappearance and provide justice to the victims of this crime. Nandri. For Scarborough Rouge Park. Mr. Speaker, Sri Lanka has a long history of enforced disappearances, white van abductions and missing persons. I've met with many families of the disappeared who have been protesting each and every day for the last three years demanding answers to the fate of their loved ones. I met a teacher who handed over her husband to the Sri Lankan military in May 2009. She saw him and others get onto a military bus. The men and women are still missing. Last month, the new president of Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Rajapaksha, concluded that those missing persons are dead. His assertions have sent chills and despair amongst the families, many of whom live in Canada. The families are demanding answers. How does he know the missing are indeed dead? How did they die? Who is responsible for their deaths? The families need to know, and in order to have closure and end impunity, a thorough, independent, international investigation that leads to truth and justice it is needed now more than ever. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member. Why did you approach uh, our guys here? Yes. Here. Well, I was, I was just, my wife told me that there is, there's a protest or something going on and they, I, there's flags, so I don't want to see. Uh, uh, um, uh, I know with everything that's going on in our world, there's a lot of okay. injustice that's happening. No, 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 wait. There's a lot of injustice that's happening, so I wanted to understand what your cause was and, and getting to understand and learn more. It's, it's, it's important that we learn and, and, and understand that we need the right focus we put on where, where these atrocities are still happening. And, it's happening in our international backyard, and we need to understand that, you know, we as Canadians, we're very open and very welcoming, and we understand that there's still a lot of injustice that's happening, and it's sad to hear that it's still happening, and I'm learning, so I'm going to write my MP, Mr. O'Toole, and uh, let him know about your September 14th, mm. September 14th, yeah. the petition that you're presenting, and, and ask that he... Uh, be there for it or provide someone that will meet with you. So you got so many information. Looking to see however I can help and uh, I wish you all a, a great adventure and, and find some help and support you need. Uh, what's your name sir? Bob. Thank you very much for your support. Enforced disappearances, kidnappings. It's an important human rights issue that impacts many countries and many communities around the world. Sri Lanka has some of the highest numbers anywhere for enforced disappearances. Some estimates are that approaching 100,000 people 
uh, as well as their families, have been impacted uh, by enforced disappearance in recent years. And this is a, a key issue that many people in Canada, from the Sri Lankan diaspora, from the Tamil community in particular, have been highlighting and calling for politicians like myself to act and to speak out and to take appropriate measures in response to push the Sri Lankan government to address the issue of enforced disappearances and to address issues around human rights more broadly. Uh, right now, we have a number of people walking from Toronto to Ottawa and from Quebec to Ottawa uh, to raise awareness about this issue and also to present petitions to the government calling uh, for awareness and action in response to enforced disappearances. Uh, on behalf of our Conservative Caucus and Conservative Leader Aaron O'Toole, uh, I want to salute the efforts of those working to bring attention to this important uh, human rights issue. Uh, and just say that in Canada, because of our geographic breadth, we have a long and important history of people walking long distances or running long distances uh, to either fundraise for or raise awareness about important causes. Uh, so these great Canadians uh, who are walking from Toronto to Ottawa, from Quebec to Ottawa, are participating in a uh, long-running and important practice in Canada of physically sacrificing yourself, going to great efforts, uh, walking long distances within our, our vast geography to bring attention uh, to very important issues. In this case, uh, the issue of the human rights abuses associated with enforced disappearances taking place in Sri Lanka. Uh, and our Conservative Party has been uh, calling for stronger action around human rights in Sri Lanka and around the world. Uh, a greater willingness to use Magnitsky sanctions to target those involved in gross violations of, of fundamental human rights. Uh, following uh, the leadership of Stephen Harper when he boycotted the Colombo Summit in 2013. Uh, again, I want to uh, salute and congratulate the work of those who are walking to Ottawa. Uh, and I hope the government will have a response to that petition that you present. The world is talking now. So in that way, they can help to the Sri Lankan missing people, at least giving some evidence or some justice to the people. So we are asking for the walking for justice. If I get this right, so do you want the Canada to put pressure on? Yes. Canada is really working out with the UNO so many things. But one of the things we are asking for is work for us, these uh, uh, missing people. The missing people. We are from Sri Lanka, more than about uh, 400,000 people in Canada now. So we are Canadians. So we also have a right to ask our uh, demands to help us. So we are going to that some kind of help to our people. And sorry, just so I get what, because I just got thrown in. So, but how, how many? So how many Sri Lankans? Sri Lankans are over here. Four hundred thousand. Is that what you said? More than four hundred thousand Sri Lankans now. The Canadians. And where are you uh, walking from, too? I am walking from Brampton to uh, Ottawa. This is four hundred and twenty-five kilometers. But we already passed about more than one hundred and seventy-five. How many is walking? Is it like are all of we walking? four four people walking full time to Brampton to Ottawa? But our people, day by day, they join with us to support to work. So on that kind of... Uh, but there's four main people doing yes, it? Yes, main okay. people. Okay, cool. And you stop by Alderville First Nation. Are you surprised at the welcome that you received? Uh, no. I am, I am with uh, First Nations more than 30 years. My brother is working with them. He's a priest. And uh, I know uh, First Nation people having issues a lot just like uh, our country people. So in that situation, I was very happy to uh, see our First Nation people. Same times uh, they welcomed us. That is uh, not a surprise. That is my privilege to be including myself with you. Yeah, so
I just wanted to, um, my sister came and saw me right just now, mm -hmm. and she said that our dad and her stopped and had a chat with you on, on the highway down there. And um, uh, I was really happy that she came to tell me that she met you. And, and we're from this community here at Alderville. We're First Nation uh, Indigenous people here in, uh, in this territory. And um, one of the things that we do um, is um, we want to make sure that people are greeted and welcomed to our territory. And um, uh, it doesn't seem like, uh, I don't think our community members know anything about the rock. But we know because we drove by you last night. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, slow down. I was driving. I said, I got to slow down and see what's, uh, yeah, what's going on. Because what, what, the kind of, so I, I guess I will come over there and talk, but uh, I guess basically I want to also highlight our family here that uh, um, are supporting your, your walk Thank for you. justice. Thank you so much. And, uh, and uh, you know, we have, uh, we have uh, a lot of um, uh, family here in this community. And uh, so, there's so much that a lot of us can do, and yes, we are stronger when we are together. And um, and we um, have learned over over time that uh, you know the more people that we can gather together to, to, yeah, that is to work the with us. Reason, yeah, we yeah. are looking for that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you also have to be spread out to to join in the people with us and do things. A, he's a veteran of World War II uh, that he served for Canada and uh, uh, Diane is my youngest sister and she's the one that takes care of our medicines and our healing and our ceremonies and our youngest brother as well who's he's not here but uh, he also takes care of uh, our the well-being of our family and uh, everyone has a role uh, I have a brother, Terry, who's here, he's right there, and uh, of course my husband, Steve, and this is my daughter, Jillian, over there, and, uh, uh, you know, all I can say is that on behalf of our family from the Alderville First Nation, the Smoke family, we're, um, we're with you, we're very happy to be supporting you, and, uh, and uh, we're happy that you take the time to uh, stop and, 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 chat with us um what bit of our own ceremony but okay, we, okay. we i'm going to give ask diane to explain what it is because it's protection and and so on okay thank you hello um like marcia said uh, this uh this is one of our sacred medicines that from the creator and it's the sage and uh, we burn it and to have have a good mind, good heart, good good eyes, you know, and, and to think, you know, with a positive attitude. And, and to have a good day. If you're feeling feeling down or you're, you're not feeling very well, then you light your, your sacred medicine and you pray and you ask, you know, let me have a good day. And um, so I wanted to, to light this smudge for you so that you have a a safe journey and and uh, have good days or and uh, and to bless you with it on your journey. It is uh, worldwide. We are in the world second place for disappearance. Now. Um, with so much going on, um, racial unrest and uh, uh, around the world, you know, it was really important for our family to come out and stand with the Sri Lankan people and and uh, um, show our support. And uh, and we are all we are all in this together. And uh, it was really important to us to be here. Last question, and forgive me because I should know, but tell me a bit about the the burning. 
Okay, um, the, uh, the burning, that, that's the ceremony that we have. Uh, my sister Diane is the youngest in our family and she's the one that takes care of our ceremonies and, and uh, she uh, burns sage here uh, and sh that's basically to protect the people on their, on their journey. It's to, um, uh, when you smudge with the sage, you also are, are um, uh, cleansing the, the, your surroundings and, and uh, putting a good, strong message out there. And that was really important. Um, but I, uh, and it's something we do every day. We'll do that several times a day. And, uh, but one thing I wanted to say is that we gifted the, the shirts to the, um, the uh, as many as we could find sizes for because that's really important to us on the Indian residential schools. Um, it, it's significant for some. Maybe I'm not. Let me explain this one. This is our ancient first drum ever. How you play again? This is the first drums we made. <laughs> The wheel, uh, First Nation place. We are just passing that area. Uh, First Nation people, they are welcoming us. They know the situation in Sri Lanka. And uh, yeah, they wish them, they pray for us and wish them uh, for us good luck. Thank you. This is Ontario, Alder. Do demonstrations and, and uh, express their, uh, their concerns in this country, and that's a, a thing that makes Canada great. I uh, wish you all the best of luck. and. Uh, um, just like to see everybody uh, travel along their way safely and uh, we just stopped by uh, we heard that you were walking down the road and we just like to see you travel along to uh, Parliament Hill in a safe manner okay thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. please give us justice 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 